hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created a page to show wishlist products in our angular application and we created a tracking order api in our spring boot application and in today's video we will create a new component and we will call this tracking order api and we will show the details of the order in our angular application so let's get started so first of all we need to create the api call and to do that we will open our auth service and we will write the api call for the tracking here in the auth service and we will create a method and we will name this method as get order by tracking id and in the params of this method we will accept tracking id and the type of this should be number and this method will return observable of type any and in the body of this method we will write return statement and we will use our http client and we will use get method because the api is get api and here we need to pass the url and we can get our url from basic url variable and after that we need to add api url and for that we will add backticks and the api url is order slash tracking id and to insert the tracking id we will use dollar bracket and then we will pass our tracking id variable in the url and with this our api call method is completed now let's save this file and after this we need to create a new component and we will place this component in the app component so we will right click on the app folder and we will open it in new integrated terminal and here we need to give a command to create the component which is ng g for generate c for component and we will name this component as track order and as you can see our track order component is ready now we need to mention the route for this component so we will open app routing file and here in this file we can duplicate our sign up route and for the path we need to set it as order and for the component we need to set it as track order component now let's save this routing file and now let's open our track order component and we will open the ts file and in this component first of all we need to create a form and we will name this as search order form and the type of this should be form group now let's import this form group from angular slash forms and after this we need to create the constructor for this component and in this constructor we need to inject the form builder to build the reactive form and after the form builder we need to inject our auth service to call the apis now let's import both of these by clicking on this quick fix and then add all missing imports and after this we will create the ng on init method for this component and in this method we need to mention the controls for our search order form and we can do this by using our form builder and we will call group method and in this group we can mention our controls and the control we want is the tracking id and for by default value i will set it as null and then for the validators i will set validators dot required our ng on init method is completed now we will create another method and we will name this as submit form and in this method we will call our api and we will use our auth service and we will call get order by tracking id method and in the params we need to pass our tracking id which we can get from our search order form and we will call get method and in this get method we need to pass the form control name which is tracking id in our case and then we need to get the value and after this we will subscribe the response and we will name the response as res and for now let's use our console.log method to log the response in the console now let's save this file and let's open our html file and in this html file first of all we will create the form 
and we need to write the form tag and for the form group we will bind search order form and on the submit we are calling submit form method and after this we need to mention the form field and for that we will use mat form field tag and then we will use mat label and in the mat label i mentioned enter tracking id to search and after the label we will give an input tag and in the form control name we will bind tracking id and after the input tag we will add a button tag and we will disable this button if our search order form is invalid and then we will use mat icon tag and we will use search icon now let's save this html file and let's go to our css file and i am pasting the code for the css you can pause the video and you can copy the css code or you can write your own code now let's save this file and let's run our application and to run the application we will write the command npm start and as you can see we got one error in the html file so let's open our track order html file and here we need to remove this extra form closing tag and now let's save this file again and you can see our application got compiled successfully now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of our track order api call and on the login page i will log in as admin and after logging in i will click on this orders button and i will copy one tracking id from here and after logging out we need to click this track order button and you can see we got one search input now let's right click and let's open our console and in the search box let's type the tracking id and let's click on this search button and you can see in the console we got the details of the order now let's go back to our angular application and let's write the code to show this information here so to show the information in the track order ts we will create a variable and we will name this as order and after the api call we will use this order variable and we will set the value of res in it now let's save this file and let's open our html file and in our html file after the form tag we will write a div and we will give it a class of order details container and we will write ng if condition and we will check if we have something in order then only we will show this div and in this order details div we will start the tag for the mat card and mat card header and for the mat card title we will show order details and now we need to show the details of the order and first of all we will show the tracking id which we can get by calling order dot tracking id and after the tracking id we will show the username and after the username we will show the address and after the address we will show the amount and after the amount we will show the order status and then at the end we will show the date of the order and we will format the date with the date pipe and we will format the amount with the currency pipe now let's save this file and let's go back to the browser and here i will add the tracking id again and i will click on this search button and you can see we got the details of the order and that's it for this video in the next video we will create analytics api so the admin can see the analytics of his shop.